So this tote here has my Erin Condren planners in it. I have my little shipping box. This is where I keep all of my... Okay, and now that I have um, a lot of sheets printed out... <laughs> Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Kate and today I'm going to be showing you my sticker shop office tour and then I'm also going to be doing a little day in the life Etsy. It's going to be like kind of half and half because I do have a few sticker orders that I need to make tonight so I'm going to take you guys along with me. And I just finally organized my office yesterday with my mom. She helped me out a lot. I am currently 36 weeks pregnant soon to be 37 in a couple days so I'm trying to get my life in order and my house in order and I am starting to nest hardcore. So one of the things I wanted to do was organize my office and my mom helped me organize it. So I'm gonna show you guys around. Okay, so this is walking into my office. You can see I have my printer and silhouette setting up over here. And then I have my desk and then it's also half a toy room. So these are all of our toys organized and this took a lot of work. Thank you to my mom because she did most of it. And then I have some more toys over here for Bren. Up here, this is um, some of my sticker stuff. So right here, I have my extra stickers. I don't keep a lot of stickers in stock just because I never know what's going to be ordered since my shop is small and I don't wanna have a ton of stickers on hand. That's not all of them though. Those are just the ones that fit in this box. And then here, I do keep a lot of envelopes in stock, but recently I actually did stop making my cash envelopes just because I'm getting ready for the baby to be here and I know it's not gonna be sustainable once he's here because they take a long time. I do have more stickers under here as you can see, the bigger ones that kind of fit under there better. So I kind of want to get a new setup for my stickers but right now that's what I have. So I just keep them in these little boxes that I got from Hobby Lobby but it would be nice to get something cuter. And then I just have some decor here that kind of needs to be set up better but right now it's just sitting in the corner here. And don't mind that I'm out of breath because I'm always out of breath now, so I apologize for that. I have my scale here that I use. This needs to be put somewhere else. This is a luggage scale, but it just kind of got set there for now. But I do use this scale for weighing my packages, so I have that here. And then in the corner here, I have decor that still needs to be hung on the wall, and then this is all stuff I'm going to return because I did not need to use it for my office, so I'm gonna be returning that. Now coming back here to the printer and silhouette. This is the printer that I use, the HP NV 7855. Um, this is what I use for my stickers. I really wanna look into getting the instant ink, I think it's called, because I use a ton of ink. But I just started looking into it and I haven't yet decided if I'm going to do that. And then also over here, I just have my silhouette. I have the um, Cameo 3, I believe. Yes, I think that's what it is. And then to create my stickers, I use Silhouette Studio. And I will show you that in a minute because I'll be making some stickers here. Under here, I just have my camera bag there. And then I also have a computer case and a ring light case. And I do have my ring light set up here. It's for some extra lighting because it's pretty dark in here tonight. Now I'm gonna show you my desk and these boxes over here and what I have organized in them. So right now, over here, this is some stuff that's going to be put away because, like I said, I'm taking a break from making my cash envelopes. So I'm going to be putting away these laminators and this paper for my cash envelopes. And then also, this is um, the laminating pouches that I'm going to be putting away. But I have one more order to make of envelopes, so I need all of that stuff. I actually have two orders to make. And then I have some paper here because some of it I need for the order that I'm going to be making. So this stuff is all going to go downstairs after I finish making my last two orders. And just another reminder, I'm not closing my Etsy shop. I'm only stopping making the cash envelopes, and I'm just going to be making stickers. So this is my desk here. Don't mind my belly trying to get in the shot. But I'm going to show you each drawer. So this drawer here first, I just have um, all my pens and my rulers that I use when I'm measuring for stickers to create a new sticker or doing my planning in my Erin Condren planners. And then these are all my pens that I have, which I'll show you my favorite pens. I love these Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. These are some of my favorite pens. 
And then I also am now loving this right here. It's the Sharpie gel, if you can see that. And I just got them in black. I think that's what all they come in, but I'm not sure. But I will leave all of this linked in the description box below. I also have the Erin Condren markers, but I'm not a huge fan of those, to be honest, because I like writing with pens better. And then I have my middle drawer here. And in here I have my hole punch for my cash envelopes, which I won't be needing for a while. And then I also have my thank you stickers on a roll here. And those are from Amazon. I'll link those as well. I have some tape, some paper here. And then I have just some um, sample stickers here and then all these envelopes here. But I don't really need those there, but that's just their holding spot for now. And then I got this insert, I think, um, just from Home Goods, So I can't link that below. In this drawer here, I have this envelope. My back to bank envelope, um, that one I need to slip money in quickly to put back in the bank, it goes in here. And then I just have some random supplies, um, all these pens I need to get rid of that I don't use. And then um, just some paper and some extra blades for my um, cutter, for my paper cutter that I use, and a camera strap. So this drawer is kind of almost useless, but that's what I have in there. Down here, I have my little shipping box. This is where I keep all of my shipping folders. My mailers, they're the cardboard mailers. These will be linked down below as well. I get them in a pack of 100 for I believe um, $40 I wanna say, but they'll be linked below. I also have my cellophane bags that I put the stickers in before they go in the mailer. And I have my packing tape to tape the label on because I don't have a label maker as of now. So that is what is in that little bin which I'm loving this little bin because it has everything I need for packaging. And then next, I'm going to show you what are in these four totes right here. So here in this tote, I'm gonna pull this out and set it on my desk and I'll go through everything. So this tote here has my Erin Condren planners in it. So I have my budget planner here and these will be linked below as well as a code to get $10 off your first Erin Condren purchase. If you're interested in buying a new planner or any accessories, but this is what I use for my budgeting. And then I also have my daily planner um, just in here too. This is my daily planner. And then under here I have two planners um, from last year, my daily planner and then my budgeting planner. And I don't know why I couldn't part with these and put them downstairs yet. I wanted to keep them up here in case I need to reference anything. So that's why I kept them up here. And then I just have some accessories over here, some sticky notes from Erin Condren, stickers, extra little dashboards that I can clip in. You can write on with dry erase. Some more stickers, that kind of thing. Extra sticky notes. Those are all from Erin Condren. And then I have my cash envelopes and my stickers that I use for my check-ins and my budgeting videos. So I'm gonna put this back and I'll get out the next bin. In this thing here, I just have a little um, speaker cover for my camera and then my label maker. In this larger bin here, I have all of my stickers, an excessive amount of stickers for planning videos. Um, I don't really use them that much. I used to use them a lot more, but that's what's in this little bin. And then I also have my Polaroid album. This is kind of random because it's not really like a... It's not really an office thing, but I have this in there. And then I have a budget planner that I don't use and then this little binder that I don't use but I might use one day. So I just have that in there. And then lastly, in the smaller bin on the bottom, I have some tape for my label maker, some extra Polaroid film, and some mailers for my cash envelopes. They're in here because I'm not going to be using these right now since I'm um, taking the break from cash envelopes, so I don't need to get to them as much as I need to get to my other mailers. And that is all for my office tour. If you have any questions about any of the supplies I use or anything else, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer your questions.
So right now I am about to fill some Etsy orders for stickers. I just made my cash envelopes, the two sets that I needed to make, and I'm so happy that I can be done with those last orders, but I just wanted to show you guys, it's very sporadic. Like today I got $100 worth of orders, and usually I do not get this many. Like yesterday I didn't even get any orders, I don't think. Let me look. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my internet, but yesterday I didn't get any orders, and some days I just don't get any orders for like four days in a row. And then one day I'll get like $100 and then the next day I'll get a bunch of orders. So it's very sporadic, but I'm going to show you guys what I do now when I'm printing my stickers. I'm sorry about the fan that you can hear in the background because I have to have that on while I'm cutting my stickers so that my daughter doesn't wake up. But now I'm going to start printing my stickers. So I will show you how I do that. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't have a huge stockpile of stickers. I basically make them as soon as someone orders them because... I have so many options for stickers on my shop and I never know what someone's going to order. So I don't want to have a huge stockpile of a bunch of stickers that no one's going to order. So I make them to order and sometimes I don't like doing that just because if I get a ton of orders, I have to take a lot of time to paste together which stickers I'm going to print. Like as you can see here, I put some thick washi on the same sheet as this so that way I don't waste a bunch of the sheet of paper. So that's what I do, and then I just like move aside the ones I don't need over here, and then someone ordered um, a rainbow one, someone ordered a blue one, and then another person ordered a rainbow set of these paycheck stickers. These are new on my shop, so they have been selling um, quite a bit of these. So sometimes it's a pain to have to like rearrange the stickers before I print and cut them, but I'd rather do that than have a huge stockpile. Let me know what you guys do in the comments if you have a huge stockpile of your stickers or if you like to just make them as people order them. I'm curious to know what a lot of people do. But now I'm just printing these out. I have a bunch more to print still. I'm going through my Etsy orders I'll show you here. I scroll through the orders and I see um, what people have ordered and then that's how I know uh, what stickers I'm going to be making. So I just go back and forth between this page and then my Silhouette Studio, and I'm just gonna print them all out before I cut them. Okay, and now that I have um, a lot of sheets printed out, I think I have like maybe 10, maybe around 10 of the different sets that I need to do. I have one ready to go, and then I have another one ready to go after that. I like using two mats at a time because then I can always have the next one ready to stick in and before I have to peel off this one and then get the other one set up. So I like using two mats at a time. And now I'm going to get started and let this one cut. So while I have stickers cutting, I am going to be working on cutting them up after the sheets come off. These are all cut um, by the silhouette and then I just have to cut them into the sticker sheets. So that's what I do. I know some people have the silhouette cut them into the sticker sheet sizes for them. I just haven't really taken the time to see if that would work for me. I feel like they would get bent when I pull them off, but I know it works for a lot of people so I'm sure I would figure out how to do it. but. Right now, I've just been cutting them by hand, and they turn out really good like that. It's just how I'm going to continue doing it for now, but in the future, that's something that I definitely want to look into. I'm just going to cut these up while the rest of the sheets are cutting, so that way, um, once all of them are done, I will be ready to sort them out into orders.
So I'm finishing up this video the next day because it got too late last night. I think I was working until like 11.30. But now I'm going to show you what I got done. I'm so excited because I got all my orders done. I had seven orders and then um, I got down to zero. So that's awesome. And then hopefully some more orders will come in today and I'll be able to fill those either tonight or tomorrow. I like to try to keep up on my orders right away when I can, but sometimes I will wait a couple days just because I don't have the time every single night to be working on orders, and it's nice when I have a few to work on at the same time. But I'm going to show you how I separated out the stickers, that's what I was doing in the last clip, and then I will start packaging up my orders. So I have someone's order here, here is a big sticker order, and these orders were actually pretty large, not this one, this one only had a couple things, this one was pretty large. And then I also have, oops, don't want to show anyone's names, but I also have this order. And then I have one order over here and then another order over here. So I'm going to start packaging these up. And when I'm packaging them up, I will be double checking all the stickers and checking them off on the sheet. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, that's what I'll be doing. And then I'll be using my shipping box down here for my supplies. Okay, that's going to be all for this video. I just got my orders all packaged up and I'm gonna go get them sent out. Just put them in my mailbox. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do like my sticker shop content and then also make sure and subscribe down below before you leave and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.